Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have Mazda, guys, any Mazda such as Mazda 2, 3, 5, 6, Mazda CX, 3 CX, 5 CX, 7, even Mazda Miata, guys, and you're guys trying to figure out if your brake light switch works, if it doesn't, okay, the brake light switch, if it doesn't work, it will affect your brake lights. They will not work, pretty simple, right? But also your cruise control will not work, traction control will be affected as well, so quite a few things, guys. Stay with us guys and we will explain in today's video guys how we can test it without removing it. We will show you guys what, uh, what scanner we are using here at the shop. It's a very affordable scanner that it can pay itself off in just one time use guys. So let's go ahead, start on it, show you how to do that. In the meantime guys, we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below guys and let us know if the video was helpful. So let's start on it now. So we'll be working here on a 2010 Mazda CX-7, but it should be about the same procedure, guys, for any Mazda you can use that computer if it's made past, uh, like, uh, probably 1998-2000. So that's your brake paddle right there, guys. So usually on top of the brake paddle, okay, this is your brake light switch. Mazda, they have to tend, they tend to have really complicated brake light switches sometimes, so uh, you have to be, guys, okay, you have to be certain that is a brake light switch sometimes replacement is not as easy as you think and uh, why to waste money on a new brake light switch when you can get one of those scanners guys okay and find out for sure if that's the case okay with that scanner i'll show you what you can do not just on mazda on any car guys and you can find it listed in the description of the video below guys so i'll just connect it to the obd port of this mazda cx7 i'll turn the ignition on okay ignition is on and this is guys a scanner now, as you can see guys, you can read calls from the engine computer, ABS, brake computer and airbag computer, you can do battery registration, quite a few things guys, super, super helpful too, so definitely, definitely worth the money. Now, I'll go to ABS and SRS, we'll select Asian because Mazda, it's an Asian brand, we'll scroll down to Mazda. And this works on pretty much any car, guys. It's amazing. And now we're going to wait for it to load. Okay. And we'll click automatic selection. So we don't have to manually, guys. Okay, select what car we have. It may ask you a few questions. How it doesn't have the advanced keyless entry. If you're not sure about something. Okay, you can always find out online. It does have the TPMS, this is the tire pressure monitor system and it gives us all the information about the vehicle. We click yes, this is the correct one. We click control unit and now we need to select ABS, anti-lock brake and traction control module. Now it's going to take just a little bit of time to communicate and connect with the computer. Uh, at the same time guys, while it's connecting, okay, at one point you may see your lights blinking. Okay, that's perfectly normal, okay. It, uh, depends on what tests you're doing okay, and what data you're seeing but uh, if you see lights blinking on the dash usually guys that's because it's communicating with the module you can see it's at 80% so it will be done anytime now almost there 90 and later guys okay will give us a few options you can do active testing and all that stuff you have special functions you can do steering angle calibration, quite a few things guys. So we'll go to live data. We'll click live data and then we'll select enter. Now it's communicating again. Okay, and I'm just going to select guys, okay. Select all. And we just, we'll, we'll see all of them. And if we come, okay, to right here, guys, check this thing out. The third one in our case, yours might be a different number. It says brake on and off. Ours, it says off, guys. I'm going to press on the brake paddle as hard as I can. Brake still stays off. I'll go ahead and even start the car now. Okay, car is started because my brake, brake paddle got hard. Okay, and I'll press it all the way down. Brake just stays off guys, it doesn't change at all, as you can see. And you can see all the different traction controls and things like that. Stay with us, I'm going, what I'm going to do now, 
I'll go ahead quick, replace the brake light switch and uh, see if that will fix the problem. Okay, you can see how our uh, ABS and traction control light is on. Okay, and this is normal and we'll see if that will take care of the problem now. So, I went ahead guys. Okay, I replaced it. Now, uh, what we're we going to do, okay, it says no communication here because we had the ignition off. Let's see if it's going to reconnect or we have to go from the beginning. Yeah, it did connect, so that's good. Now, I'll go ahead, press the brake pedal one more time. Okay, check what's going to happen now. Okay, it says on. So that's a good working switch now. So we had a back brake light switch. So hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.